sometimes they say you gotta see it to believe it. Amen. Right. Right. That's it. My goodness, when I, see, when I seen them, it just, it just overwhelmed me a little bit. <laughs> My goodness, you just like, you don't doubt God, but when you see it, man. Yes. Oh, come on, God, come on. Woo, my Lord. That's right. When you just, I understand how pastors feel when you just praying for the saints and you see stuff start happening. You see jobs, you see families restored, you see spirits leaving and Oh my goodness, I can go on and on. Oh, on. Yes, Man, yes, I don't have to sing, I like that song. What's <laughs> that? Whatever they say, on and on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Whatever. But my oh, Amen. 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 I don't feel like we make sure nobody got on heels or stuff today. Because <laughs> this Bible study lesson is going to be ridiculous. And I'm not saying that I'm teaching it, but because of the Word of God, and I got excited all by myself studying it. Yes. We want to talk about the Jabez prayer. Mm -hmm. we, oh, we, know, we know preachers been on the kick for that for like a year straight. They always wanted it and stuff like that. But when you go back and read stuff, you like, did they see that? Uh -huh. We got caught up in like the material right. and the blessing. But you already know, right to the ministry, all oh, that come back to living right. Right. When you live it right, that's where the blessing is bestowed. Amen. 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 Yes, Start teaching already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just making sure y'all hear. I miss y'all, man. I don't know how people can miss church. It's like I've been gone for a month. <laughs> My goodness. Let's look at the scripture I'm going to come from tonight. It's a few scriptures. But the main one is 1 Chronicles chapter 4. <laughs> First Chronicles chapter four. Amen. Amen. Why you find why you find that? I know we had praise and I don't want to lose my thought. But I just wanted to put it in everybody's memory bank on the atmosphere is high, but I don't want to lose my thought. Amen. Everybody is a righteous living ministry family member, right? Amen. Uh, a church member, right? Amen. 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 I pray. I never come back into a right living ministry house dirty again. Yes, Amen. I'm saying it with a smile. It was a smile. Uh -huh. a little hot mess. So I'm just I'm just asking. Amen. Amen. We all family. It's not one person job. It's all of us. So I you got cleaned up. I didn't want y'all to walk in here like that. It smelled good when you came in there. Alright. Amen. Was it New Year's Eve or something? <laughs> Goodness gracious. But hey, man, we're going to talk about Jabez's prayer. What we're going to talk about is keeping it simple, but effective. Effective, not effective. Effective. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. It reads this. Who got it already in the King James Version? Let me hear your King James Version. And Jabez was more honor, honorable than his brother. Stop real quick. And Jabez was more honorable than his brother. But hold up, if you read, if you Bible reader, you go back and for for a couple of verses and chapters, they just talk about the genealogy that's going through the Old Testament. You know the part we don't, we skip. Yeah. I mean, I think I read it one time. Just like, why am I reading this? This person begat, this begat, they begat, they begot. And then the author decided to fit Jabez in two verses. Why? Because he was honorable. More honorable than his brother. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9. And his, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Yes. Verse 10. And Jabez called upon God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thy would wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my cloak. Yes. And that thy hand might be with me. Yes. And that thy <clears throat> would keep me from evil. Yes. That it may not grieve me. Yes. And God granted him that which he requested. Yes. And God granted him that which he requested. This, this is the New Living Translation. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. 
His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Yes, right, yes, right. yes. Please be with me in all that I do. Listen to what he's saying. Uh -huh. Everything that he does, he's asking God to be with him. Right. So that tells me everything that he's doing is in the will of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Y'all with me? Uh -huh. Amen. If you sin it, you got to ask God to roll with you. No, no. And keep me from all trouble. Yes. And keep me from just a couple of hours. Of all trouble. trouble. All, all trouble. trouble. All and pain. All And listen. Hmm. Listen when Now, he didn't say, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. this is the day that you have made. Well, no, we no, no, we rejoice no. because you are <laughs> omnipotent, omnipresent. The most gracious, majestic <laughs> God of all creation. <laughs> he said, Oh, that you would bless me uh -huh. and expand my territory. Amen. Please be with me, God, at all that I do. Mm -hmm. And keep me all from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. So he was given the name Sorrow. He called his name. So he was already disqualified. But because of his relationship, he wasn't counted out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jabez's prayer over oh, money and houses right, and cars. Right, right. Oh, yes, sir. But back then, land was a statement. Yeah, that's right. The more land you had, the more prestige you were, the more houses you was. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. When Jabez understood, he said, God, if you would just enlarge my territory, give me more land. Oh, my God. That's it. That's it. He said, his confidence was, I'm already living right. So as I'm coming to you, I'm coming boldly to the throne. Because right. I know I'm never right. I know I'm not wavering. I know I'm not doubting. So I'm asking right. you Hallelujah. to enlarge my territory. Yes. Right. Right. And as I go from day to day, if you would just be with me on all that I do, Hallelujah. let me dwell in your presence. And keep me yes. Yes, yes. from all trouble. Sustain me. Mm -hmm. See, he knew back then that you are my strong tower. Yes, sir. And I run to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm safe. And God granted his request. Mm -hmm. he, he probably played for 30 seconds. <laughs> it didn't go to another chapter. Mm -hmm. It said he prayed and God requested. God requested. Listen. When you look at this, this verse, verse 10, there's four parts to it. I added one talking about he called on the God of Israel. That's the first one. Then if you go to the, the second one, if I can say it like that, Jabez asked God to bless him. Mm -hmm. The second point is he asked God to enlarge his territory or to increase his responsibility. Mm -hmm. The third point, he prays. That God will be with him and stay close. Uh -huh. yeah. Listen. Uh -huh. right here. So he said, I'm with you, but I'm asking that you stay close. Mm -hmm. The one that said, I'll never leave you. Hallelujah. Don't forsake. Come on, sir. Come on now. Lastly, Jabez asked that God keep him from harm so that he will be free from pain. Mm -hmm. Now, we got to remember in the Old Testament, the Spirit of God was upon them. Mm -hmm. And he praying like this and getting requests answered quickly. Now we come to the future where we are the Gentiles mm -hmm. saved by the blood of the Lamb the blood. and the anointing the power. Jesus himself dwells in us. Amen. So what more can we do? Yeah. 
The Wiz, you want to appreciate Nipsey Russell singing at the car.
material stuff. We don't even understand words. You say, bless me, bless you. Can you be a blessing to me? Are you sanctified, set apart? When you believe in Jesus, when you take on his name, you are set apart. You can't sin. You sin because you want to. They say it's a process. The word of God said we're free indeed. Hallelujah. It's a process that your faith is not working fast enough. Uh -huh. That's all it is. Okay. That's, That's the process. Right. Pastor, but it took you eight years because I didn't believe. But now, now that I know. Oh, that you would bless me. <laughs> And believe it. See, that's the difference. When you say it's something, believe it. That's right. You take his name in vain sometimes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Then we cry, well, when, when you need him. Uh -huh. Come on now. Let's <laughs> yeah. good, brother. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Listen, listen. Let's go to Genesis. Yes. Genesis chapter 12. Hallelujah. Abraham is the man. That's all I got to say. That's all. <laughs> Abraham, Abraham chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Yes, sir. This is, he's, he's still Abram right here. He's still Abram, and he's about to be named Abraham. Yes. He's about to become the father of many nations. Who can say that? Many nations. Who can say that? But see, they can say it, but God told him. Right. Well, see, what God tells you, it's invalidated. You can't take nothing from me. Right. Oh, who made your elder? Not you! <laughs> who told you to call to be a pastor? Not, Not you! <laughs> oh, you just want to start a church to control people. You got me twisted. <laughs> <laughs> control is witchcraft.
Jesus. Lord Jesus. Listen. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. All Abraham had to do was go. And God will show him obedience is greater than sacrifice. Yes, it is. Jabez understood this. Yes. Abraham understood this. Oh, Pastor, God was speaking to me. I don't know. I, I think it was the devil. Because he told me to uproot from my family because they're not trying to get no get right. And he told me to come from my mom and never being separated. But that's my family. No, that's not right. Okay. Okay. Two days later, not even a week, two days later, Pastor, all hell that broke loose. <laughs> he told you. He told you. Y'all not going to get it. But look at your circle around you. Chickens roll with chickens. Right. Right. I, just told, I was just talking to Jeff the other day. Like we, we in this mode, in this house thing. We, we in this mode, we in this mode. And it's just like, I'll talk to everybody though. Mm -hmm. You with me? You with me. But as soon as I hear, oh, you're about to get in the house, I can hear you boys. You, no, you, you don't get no conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will never talk to you again. Since the door rain, we working on this house thing. We trying to get this house. What do you want to say? All right, now let's set you agree with you that God wants to bless you. Uh-huh. But see, but see, I know she just made that up. Because if we was just at home or something, she go, oh, you gonna get it, you got it, it's good, it's over. But this, she made it deep right now. She made it deep. I know y'all. Well, I mean, you can't tell everybody. You can't tell everybody. I agree. When you've been set apart, you only can talk to people that's been set apart.
Sister Mia, go. Leave your apartment. Just don't take nothing with you. Just go. So when you hit the parking lot, I'm going to tell you where to go. Uh oh. -uh. <laughs> That's what we do. We like, then call me. Pastor, I think I heard the Lord. <laughs> well, what did, what did the Old Testament say when you say that line? Go back. Ask again. What, mother, you better preach. We got a Bible reader up in here. Y'all better go read Samuel. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Read this. All praise to God. Y'all seen the first word? Mm -hmm. What's the first word of your Bible? What's your first word? He said Ephesians chapter 1. Chapter 1. Yes. Praises be to God. All right. This New Living Translation says, All praises to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Even before he made the world. Y'all here with me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pause for a minute. Am I the only one dying in here? Hi. Yes. Is it me? Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. You don't know how I'm going to I can work. I can work the text. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us. Amen. Before Genesis 1 and 1, he loved us and chose us. Y'all didn't even hear me. Before he said, in the beginning, he chose us and loved us. Before, in the beginning, God created, he chose us and loved us. Y'all with me yet? Amen, amen. But watch what he did. Come on, come on. But listen to this. Even before, now watch this, I've never seen this. Brother, brother. Listen, keep up with me, y'all. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ. Christ was already yeah, in the yeah, yeah. It was already there. Come on now. <laughs> Please tell me y'all getting this stuff. Oh, yeah, right. 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 Listen, but here we talking about the blessings though. This is what I'm talking about with Jay Ben. We got excited about the money and stuff. Right. In Christ to be holy right. and without fault. In his eyes. I'm telling you, it's simple but effective. If you're living right, you're following the ordinances, the commandments, the word of God. God cannot deny your request. It's Bible. You can just go to Deuteronomy 28. He said, if you follow these, I've got 16 verses that say I got you. Yeah. I probably added too many. I think it's 15. <laughs> live right. This is, this is what I understand. Why we don't want to live right? Oh, God, not blessing me. Check your life. Check your life. Amen. Do Amen. a checklist. Uh -uh. Am I reading? Am I praying? Am I fasting? Yes, Am I hold up? This is, back that off a minute. Am I loving? Am I merciful? Am I compassionate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do I love my enemies? Do I love my backstabbers? Do I love my haters? Do I love those that despitefully use me? Do I love those that steal from me? Do I love those that tear up my house? <laughs> Find no fault in his eyes. Oh, that he would bless me. We still are oh, that he would bless me. God decided in advance. That yes, means before it happened. Before what happened? Listen. Man, just, just hold on to your seat. I don't want nobody to shout on Wednesday. Just hold on Sunday. That's the only time you got to shout. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family. Thank you. 
peculiar people. A royal priesthood. A chosen generation. Called out of darkness. And to his marvelous light. Pastor, you missed one. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, oh I'm not done. Okay. Don't, don't do that. I'm okay. not done. <laughs> to adopt us into his own family on, by bro. bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. Oh. This is what he wanted to do. Oh. Listen, hold up. This, this is the kicker right here. This is the kicker. This is the kicker. Is she all right? Oh. She all right. This is the oh. Listen. Listen, I can't read this yet until I repeat this. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. He loved us before he made the world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In Christ to be holy and without fault. Mm -hmm. Yes. He decided in advance before it happened and it was manifested that he would adopt us into his family. And the conclusion to the whole matter is it gave him great pleasure. <laughs>
Y'all gotta keep up with me. Uh huh. And cross the Jabbok River with them. And after taking them to the other side, he sent all his possessions. Y'all paying attention? Yes, sir. You got the babies? You got them? I want y'all to hear me. Listen, he took the family across. And then he took his possessions mm -hmm. across. Mm -hmm. Please tell me y'all with me. Oh, yeah. This left Jacob all alone. Uh -huh. The best time to hear God is all by yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's yes, sir. That's no mama, That's That's no it. husband, That's no it. wife, no kids. Yeah. It's just you in the shower, That's you in the car, yeah. you in the church, you got keys. It's all you and God. This left Jacob all alone in the camp. And a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. Uh, uh, uh. Hold up. I didn't even get that far. But how long was he wrestling? <laughs> Do y'all watch wrestling? There's no timeouts in wrestling. No, no it isn't. No, no, it is. It's a spice gun. The only way is a timeout in wrestling if you tag team. That's it. That's it. This was one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, sir. So you have to you wrestle this all the time. This, 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 keep up with me. He wrestled with him until dawn began to break. Uh -huh. Morning was kicking in. Yes, uh -huh. Is that right? Dawn is morning, right? Yes, yes. Okay. When the man saw that he would not win the match. Uh -huh. When the man saw, we know who the man was, right? When the man saw that he wouldn't win the match against Jacob. He touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of his socket. Oh. Then the man said, look, he touched his hip uh -huh. and Jacob was still fighting. Still fighting. Yeah. Dude, you got to know that when you're in a fight, your adrenaline is going. Uh -huh. You can stab me. I've seen this in real life. I've seen one of my buddies get stabbed in the side and still beat him down. Afterward, he was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> After. Listen. He said, then the man said, let me go. For the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, here we go. Come on now. Remember what blessed me. Jacob is still a supplanter right here, right? Here we go. I will not. Let now look.
We have fought with God and with men and have won. Jacob says, please tell me your name. Why do you want to know my name? The man replied. Then he blessed Jacob there. At that point in time, he realized the determination that he blessed him. He consecrated him. He set him apart. He pronounced him holy. He was no longer a supplanter, a trickster. No, he wasn't. My God, oh, that you would bless me. My God. Please tell me this is helping somebody. No, it ain't helping us. All right, it's helping. Jesus, is this still taping? Whoa. I got to go fire you. Let's move on. Y'all got this, oh, that bless me. Hold on to this. Hold on. Number three. Expand. Enlarge my territory. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But listen, we get caught up. We've heard this taught in. It was about houses, money. It was like, oh, bless me, everybody giving money, everybody. Oh, yes, yes, God, you're increasing. But what it's saying is, your motives. Is it for you? Or is it for God? Why do you want to, for me to enlarge your territory? Why do you want me to increase your wealth? Why do you want me to increase your house? Why do you want me to expand your job? What is it for? Is it for you? Or is it for me? Listen. Where we at? Where we at? Got scripture to go with this. Genesis 26, verses 2 through 5. 26. Yes. If you write it down, write down Genesis chapter 26. Verses 2 through 5, mm -hmm. and then jump down to verses 12 through 34. We're going to read a little bit. I can't, I can't get them to miss it. I, I had one verse, and I went back and read. I said, I got to read all of it. Okay. So you can get the point. I don't want you to miss this. Man, before the night is over, we might have church. Man, can you just act like you got to work in the something? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel that. My goodness. Do you ever feel a, a hum sometimes? <laughs> Give me one. It's been a while. But listen, Genesis 26, 2 through 5. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt, but do as I tell you. Listen, God, do as I tell you. Be obedient, follow instructions. Live here as a foreigner in this land. And I will be with 